Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to go over integrated development environments or IDEs as they're otherwise called. So there's a difference between a code editor and an IDE. A code editor is good for quickly editing single files or even multiple files. And they usually provide decent syntax highlighting, smart indentation, and sometimes code completion, which is a really handy tool to have. However, if you're working in a large project or need a more complete set of tools for development, you're going to want to use an integrated development environment. IDEs offer the same code features as code editors, but also more advanced features like version control support, tool chains, and ways to run the application from right in the IDE. Depending on your choice of programming language or development tools, you'll need to choose an IDE which supports those technologies. Some IDEs support multiple languages, while others choose to support only one language or select few and optimize the IDE for the chosen languages. For instance, Eclipse is a widely used IDE, provides version control support, uh, support for many different languages from C to C++ to PHP and Java. Like many IDEs, Eclipse requires Java to be installed in order to use the IDE. To install the Java runtime in Ubuntu, open up terminal and type sudo apt-get install openjdk-8-jre. Or if openjdk8 isn't available in your system's repositories, you can install openjdk7. Then extract the Eclipse archive you downloaded and run the Eclipse-inst file to launch a graphical installer. Codeblocks is another popular IDE that supports C, C++, and Fortran. Unlike Eclipse, Codeblocks was written in C++ instead of Java, and so it doesn't require any special runtimes in order to use it. Now Qt, or Qt, is a framework for cross-platform GUI applications, and the development installation includes its own IDE called Qt Creator. Qt Creator supports C++ and QML as languages, version control, project and build management, and includes its own graphical GUI builder called Qt Designer. Qt Creator is the smartest IDE I've used, in my opinion, and can be very powerful when used correctly. Now, for anything other than C++ and QML, I use a JetBrains IDE. So JetBrains is a company that provides IDEs for a variety of languages. No matter which of their IDEs you install, they all operate essentially the same way, just for different technologies. They include great code completion and build management, as well as version control, a comprehensive settings component, plugin support, and when you write Python code, it even lets you know if you violate any of the PEP guidelines, which is the style guide for Python code to keep things clean and readable. 